but nobody gets this amp because of the clean tone. It is all about the dirty, heavy, distorted, preamp gain, up the ass. That's what this amp is for. So let's uh, take a quick listen to that. Now, this is not a video of me trying to show you how to play a song, so don't kill me. Um, I, I'll be making mistakes or what have you. Um, actually, I already listened. Um, this is a take number three because I tried to actually put a video out without any sound sample because you know I wouldn't be doing any justice to this amp uh, trying to capture the audio with the little uh, camcorder microphone. It does not come across as nearly as you know, great as what I'm hearing in here. Um, it sounds a little muffled through the microphone. It's got a lot of compression, so it's not a true representation, but I'm hoping you know it does what I'm trying to do for you. So uh, we'll take a listen on high gain. Um, in the order of, I'm gonna go regular gain. Then I'm gonna go. I'm sorry. So I'm gonna go with good amount of mid and take one. Then I'm gonna take. Um, I'm gonna take the uh, my phone's ringing. And then I'm gonna take the mid boost engaged. The amp comes with the mid boost. Uh, and then third take will be just a scoop tone with a mid completely kill. The reason why I do that, even though I'm not a you know professional reviewer and far away from it, for good reviews you should uh, check out like reviews from the Tone King or you know some of the other you know professional review guys. Uh, when I show a gear, what happens is you know I get blasted because I get you know one camp says well. If you kill the mid, if, if you kill the mid, you're sucking the tone right out. You got to go mid. And then if I do that, then I get the uh, 80s metal camp coming back and go, you know, it sounds, uh, you know, it doesn't sound right. You got to scoop the mid, a la Metallica or what have you. So I'm going to try to do as best as I can, not to offend anyone. Also try to meet, um, you know, try to cater to everybody's need. So that's what that is. So let's take a listen on the dirty chest. <laughs>
the guitar I use there is my new Ibanez S7320, which I will do another video on later because I got another new guitar coming in. So we'll, uh, I, I will show you the guitar a little bit more in depth when the other guitar comes in. Um, so that's what that is. And then um, I also got this uh, orange cabinet, 2x12. Um, I got it used. It's loaded with vintage 30s. Uh, I got vintage 30s because um, I guess uh, angle, these angle amps were designed in the lab with the um, vintage 30s, so they pair very nicely together. Somebody wants to talk to me really badly, my phone's ringing again. Um, so the cabinet is in great condition. It's a closed back cabinet, uh, but I had to take the, cab um, the back cover off because uh, when the back cover was on, the sound was it, it To me, it sounded muffled. Um, it sounded like the audio was just kind of trapped inside of the cabinet. So once I opened up the back, the bass was thumping, the treble sang high, and you know, a, a lot more definition in the sound. And it just didn't, it, it sounded like the cab was able to breathe. So um, that's what I'm running right now. So um, there you go. That's my uh, newest gear that I've updated. This is not a review video. This is more of a showcase video because, again, I'm not the best one to review any gear. So anyhow, there you go. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment. Ask me any questions. I'll try to answer as best as I can. I don't answer to those comments that say I suck. I already know. Tell me something I don't know. Have fun. Until next time. Peace. Or, a la Dio. <laughs>